Praise God this morning. Uh, suddenly for another day. It's always good just to see another day. Uh, I was watching something on TV the other day and they were talking to Warren Buffett. And one of the things Warren Buffett said to him, he said, I'm, I'm just thankful I got up this morning. And here's a <clears throat> billionaire many times over. Probably got 160 something billion or something like that, I don't know. But he's just thankful that he got up. Uh, so it is a good, it is good to always behold another day. Amen. Day which we've never seen before. We get up every morning like we've lived this day before, or we've seen this day before, but this is a day that we've never seen before. In this day, we have opportunities. Mind. We have opportunities in this day. This morning I'd like to briefly uh, say something to you about this scripture, uh, Luke 13 and 6, maybe through, through 9, maybe. Uh, Jesus spoke this parable. Of course, we know what a parable is. It's a, it's a short, simple story that has more of a spiritual meanings, a spiritual lessons that can be learned from. He said there, a certain man had a fig tree. Now, I've uh, read over this quite a few times. And I saw something else this time around. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his yard, in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. And I was thinking, all of us have, if I could say, a tree, a property planted in our yard. And I want to talk about struggling with my tree. My tree. All my trees. <laughs> this, this owner of the vineyard was a man. Scripture, Jesus said, a certain man. And this certain man had a problem with the tree in his vineyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the spike and his vineyard, in his vineyard, he had a tree dresser, which is called a gardener, perhaps. Somebody who he had working on his tree. I, 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 I know, and I've come across the thought that every year for three long years, the owner had come, came by. 
perhaps gaily looking for some fruit from the tree. But the gardener had made no progress with it at all. No better the second year than it was the first, and no better the third year than it was the first year. It was still the same in the same condition. Still had the same problem. It was unable to do what it knew that it should do. It was unable to do it. I know that the gardener had put empathy in. And I know that when I think about this lesson that I see Jesus is trying to teach us, Amen. is that in each of our lives, there are tree or trees. And some of us have been able to fix a tree or two. Right. Amen. But some of us have not been able to fix certain things that we've been trying to fix for a long time Amen. in our lives. Amen. We haven't been able to fix it. Glory, hallelujah. We want to fix it. We, we want to make it better. But we've been unable for a long time right. to make it better. Y'all right. ought to hear what I'm saying. Because I got some trees in my life. I don't know about you. That I've been working on for a long time. Every time I look at some of these trees, it seems like I made no progress. Glory, hallelujah. And sometimes when you feel like you made no progress, you, you feel like you're not doing anything, despite all the work that the God has been put in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Hmm? Yeah. Now, uh, the dresser of the garden, uh -huh. of the vineyard, heard the statement of the woman. All right. And the seventh verse said, the dresser of the vineyard, amen, we are a gardener of our life. Yes. Amen. And uh, but the Lord or the owner of the vineyard said in the seventh verse, these three years I've come seeking fruit on this fig tree. And I find none. Cut it down. Cut it down. Can I say that again? Why does it use up the ground? Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Uh, the owner was saying, stop trying to fix the problem. Glory, hallelujah. You know, after we've had a problem for a mighty long time, we may stop trying to fix it. Glory, hallelujah. But we don't help ourselves when we don't fix our problem. Oh, Lord. No. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. Now, uh, he said, in the vineyard, he said, but the Lord, the owner of the vineyard said, these three years I've come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none, cut it down. How many of us have come to believe that the tree is unfixable? It's unfixable, Pastor. I, I hear you praying about it. And I hear you preaching about it. But this tree that I've been working on, this thing that I want to get right, this problem that I want to make right, this life that I want to have. Oh, oh, Pastor, I hear you preaching, but I don't seem to be able to make it right. Oh, oh hallelujah. I, I, can't, I can't get it fixed. I can't get it fixed. I prayed on it, and I, and I saw him on it, and I talked about it, and I believed on it, but I just can't get it fixed. Amen. How many have come to believe?
believe that the tree is unfixable. Come to believe that my problem is hopeless. A long time I've been praying with no change. Too long I've been trying to make it better with no change. Amen. Uh, the man had been in the garden for three long years working with the same problem. Glory, hallelujah. But uh, I like what the gardener had to say to the Lord of the garden. He, he went and told him to cut it down. He said, hold on. Wait a minute. Don't cut it down yet. Give me another year. Glory, hallelujah. Don't destroy the tree yet. Don't destroy my hope. Because despite the fact that the man owned the garden, and on the tree. I've been in the garden working on the tree. Hold on. Don't cut it down right now. I got aspirations for it. I got hope that my dreams will come true. I got hope that my joy will be realized. I got hope my prayer will be answered.
that I'm still working on. I don't know. I, I mean, I just believe that everything's going to be all right. But I, I got some problems I'm still working on. I'm still trying to fix them. Oh, the hallelujah. Please, amen, don't give up on me yet. Amen. Listen here, I'm not true now. But I'm reminded of the faith that the gardener had. Despite not seeing any progress from all his work, despite not seeing any change in his problem, he still, amen, he still, amen, worked on it anyway. It reminded me of Job 1479 through 9. At least there is hope for our tree. If it's cut down, it will spring again. And its new shoots will not fail. Oh no, I'm looking for the day that this tree problem I got will spring up again. Amen. Will the things that I'm praying and hoping to correct will spring forth and bless my life and bless my soul and bless my heart. Oh. I think the gardener realized that yes, there's hope. But you see, somebody else might be in the garden with it. Oh no. Oh no. You know what I heard Jesus say? Jesus said, give me a body. Glory, hallelujah. And I'll go down and I'll fix every tree in the garden. Glory, hallelujah. Hey, hey, I got a gardener now. Good call of mine. I know this gardener now. See, I know all about it. I know what he can do. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody said, this gardener never lost a case. Glory, hallelujah. He can fix any tree in the garden. Good call of mine. So when I know who's in the garden with me. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'll go down. I'll go down there. I'll go down to their garden. I'll go down there, Lord. Oh, Father, send me down there to their garden. Send me down. Oh, Lord. If I go down there, I'll get in the garden with them. Good God of mine. Their tree, but I'll get in the garden with them. I teach them, teach them about another power. Oh, the hallelujah! A power that's able to do all things. I show them, I raise the dead, I heal the sick, I open the eyes of the blind. I let them know in your God is a true power. True worker, a true deliverer, a true miracle answer, a true lover, a true joy, a true everlasting life power in your life. The Lord, all our trees cannot be fixed by spiritual, by physical means, but they must be spiritually fixed by spiritual means. Amen. That tree in your garden need a spiritual miracle. You ain't gonna fix it by the words you just heard. You ain't gonna fix it just because you say something. Oh, no, no, no. Some of these trees need a spiritual operation. Some of these trees need to be spiritually fixed. But oh, somebody, somebody declared I'll be with you always, even to 
Jesus did not end the story. After the gardener asked him to leave the tree, he didn't go on and say, cut the tree down. He left it in the hands of the gardener. Isn't that something? He could have said, no, no. You're just too bad. It's just too bad, I tell you. It's just too bad. Hey, Amen. You spend enough time, enough time on it. It's just cut the thing on down, leave, leave the thing alone, yes. amen, but he didn't, he, in other words, he gave by not saying cut it on down, all right, all right. he gave more time, yes. all right. oh, 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 oh. Praise God. You know you got some things in your life you just you just want to fix, make it right, but you just just can't seem to get it done. But uh, thank God that the peace of our heart is in Him. Oh glory, hallelujah! Oh glory, hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.